Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Ricky and today we're going to be talking about how to loop the shack. If you're new around here and you like what you see, please consider subscribing to the channel, hitting the like button and ringing the bell so that you know when I'm uploading next. I hope that these tips help you guys out. And I do want to point out that these tips are for people who are trying to get into red rank, you know, who are having just a little bit of trouble. If you are really good at looping, this might not be the video for you, but if you're not, Try this out, let me know how it works out for you, let's get right into the video. So to get good at looping the shack, the first thing you need to understand is the setup. Every shack in the game will have two doors and a window. To become good at looping the shack, you have to know when to use a door and when to use the window. Watch this quick example from one of my old videos. We'll use the shack now, we'll use the shack. Window to door, window to door. This is the best loop guys, using the window and the door. When you go to the window, of course, Try to do a straight. Oh, that was too slow. Don't do that. Do not do that, guys. Oh my god, that was too slow. As you can see in this clip, I'm being followed by the Billy into the shack. I go out the window, but when I see him coming from the side, I go back into the shack through the window. Once he jumps through the window, I know I have enough time to loop him one more time and go back into the window from the outside. Always look at the killer's red aura so you know which direction they're going in. One thing to remember guys is that if you vault a window too many times, it is going to block and you won't be able to use it for a certain amount of time. At that point you have to make the decision whether you want to stay looping the shack and maybe drop the pallet or you want to go to a safer location and have more pallets available to you. And of course it goes without saying, if you're playing someone like the Dead Slinger, keep an eye on the gun. Take a look at this clip of me using the window and the door but also paying attention to where the Death Slinger is pointing the gun at. Also notice how I don't really have to look at the killer. I can just look at the aura and see which direction he is going in. I can see him coming in through the window because of the aura and how he faked coming outside as well because of the aura so I knew I didn't have to jump the window just yet. If you manage to lose the killer, stay in the corner of the shack. Put your camera so that you can see both sides of the shack and only move when you see the killer. What about the pallet? The pallet that everybody calls the god pallet. The pallet that you're not supposed to ever drop. I say, if you can make it to another section with pallets after your window has been blocked? Go ahead and do it. Leave the shack, leave the pallet and make it to the other section. But if there's no survivors around you and you're about to go down and there's a basement in the shack, just drop the pallet and get the hell out of dodge. If you're looping the killer in the shack and you know you're gonna get hit and you're not gonna make it to the window, one thing you can do is fake going into a window to evade an attack. So what you do is you basically act like you're gonna go into a window and you basically just keep running straight or across or whichever way you want to. The killer will try to aim their hit at the window and you can evade the attack and get a little more loop out of that run. Watch this quick example. So what I did there is do a wide turn to make it seem like I wanted to do a fast vault on the window and the killer went for the window instead of me. You can do that to, and use that to your advantage guys. I don't want to make this video too big guys, I just wanted to get straight to the point and show you the tips, the tricks that I use to loop killers in the shack. I hope that it helps somebody out, if it does let me know in the comments down below. If you like the video, please hit the like button for me, it really really helps uh, the channel out and I really appreciate you watching this far. Thank you and have a nice day guys, take care, peace out.